word I'd use, but I'm awake. Do you want some coffee? I'll make. I'll make, go make another pot. How many pots have you had? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> have you been up on that? Yeah. I've um, been working on what I'm going to say today on the cutting edge. Do you want to hear it? You're going to be exhausted. No, no, I won't. Come on, right now. I'm, I'm, Lay down. Try to get a little shut I'm up. fine. I'm fine. Did you want to hear this or not? You wrote a speech? No. But the show is dedicated to Flight 149, so I thought, I, you know, I have to do it justice. I have to be prepared. You will be. All right, here it goes. <clears throat> Corporate responsibility is admirable when it involves air pollution, chemical dumping, or even daycare for its employees. It's a covenant between big business, its employees, and the consumers general public. But when the covenant is broken, when that public trust is shattered, corporate responsibility gives way to corporate liability. And the wreckage, be it an oil spill or the cost of lo the cost or the loss of innocent lives in a plane crash, suddenly dissolves into bureaucracy, spin control, and clever PR. Corporate responsibility fails. Personal responsibility is the only solution. That's why Adam Chandler must be held accountable for the crash of Flight 149, because as owner of the of the Corview Group, the parent company of Trans Global Airlines, Adam Chandler is responsible. That's the first part. What do you think? It's a very powerful opening. Look, I, I, I know this is hard for you. But Adam's guilty, and he's got to pay. And I, I have to make the public understand that. I know you do. And he will. He will, but... Until, look, he's finally found true love, and now he's going to go and lose it all. have my mouth open or anything, do I? <laughs> you were beautiful. Oh. Hmm. So were you. I was dreaming about you. Huh? How long have you been up? Since dawn. You didn't go back to sleep? No. After? How could I? How could I? <laughs> then come back to bed. I can't. What's wrong? How are you dressed? There's something I have to do. Can't wait. Mm. Mm. No. No. Can't wait. I've waited too long as it is. What is it? What's wrong? I love you. You do believe that, don't you? You, you have to believe that. I do. You tell me all the time. You told me this morning. You can say it as much as you'd like. And you stay home today? Just you and me. That's all that matters. Everything else can wait. <laughs> Taylor, there's something I have to tell you, but I don't want you to get mad. Okay. What is it? Last night, after you left holidays, my father told me something, and he, he wanted me to promise not to tell you, but I told him that we don't keep secrets from each other. And then he asked me to keep it from you until he could tell Liza, which I took to mean this morning, so that's when I waited until now. Tell Liza what? What, what couldn't you tell me? You know, the, um... The faulty blades that caused the crash. They were uh, purchased because of a direct order Adam gave the purchasing managers to cut costs. My sister died because Adam wanted to save money. Hey, oh, I'm so sorry. whole time he he knew exactly what he'd done and he, he hasn't said a word right what kind of man what kind of man is he he's 
ashamed and he's scared. Look, I w I'm sorry I kept this from you. I really am. I wanted to tell you last night, but I was so afraid you were going to go after him. Look, I know you're in a no-win situation here. I don't want this to come between us. I love you. But I've got to go through with this. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go on the cutting edge today. And I'm going to expose your father. With this new information, all right? Can you handle that? Are you with me or not? Liza, mm -hmm. I have to know that you believe how much I love you, how important you are to me. Hello. I want to get this right. Liza, I've never wanted anything more in my life. Of course. Uh, what is it? I can get through anything if I have you. People could say anything, they could do anything to try to to tear us apart. But we're invincible, aren't we, darling? Of course we are. And you do know I love you. Yes. You know, you feel as I do that that we were meant to be, that we are a perfect reflections of one another. Hello. You take my breath away. Thank you. For what? For trusting me with your insecurities. I love you for that. I love you. I mean, especially after everything that we've survived, everything that we've been through. You have to get used to the fact that you're stuck with me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. You'll never know how much I wanted to hear you say that. It'll help me get through what I have to say. Oh, it's my mother. I know. It's mother. Girls' Day Out. It's what? Girls' Day Out. I forgot. I wanted to cancel what? and I forgot. I'll make her go away. No, get rid of her. Make her go away. I'll, all right, never mind. I'll get rid of her. Oh. Uh. Oh, hello, Adam. I didn't know you were home. Oh, no, no, darling, don't look so worried. Uh, Winifred let me in. I, I turned to my key, remember? There, there's been a change of plans, Marion. Um, we need a little time alone together today. Oh, wait so a minute. So off with you. Wait a minute, darling. Oh, well, I realize that Liza would much rather play with you than with me, but uh, could I at least get a wave in? Hi, darling. Okay, now you newlyweds go right back to whatever it was you were doing, and I will tell Suzanne that you are not to be disturbed. Suzanne? Yes, she's downstairs, darling. She hasn't heard from you for a couple of days, so she came to check on you. Oh, my, my, Adam. I've heard of lost weekends. <laughs> but lost weeks? <laughs> Only in my dreams. <laughs> uh, sweetheart, um, I have to get rid of Suzanne, uh, and I'll, I'll give the rest of the staff the day off so we can have a little privacy. I'll be right back, and I'll expect you gone. And I will be, darling. I will be. Oh, Liza, well done, darling. That man is just consumed with passion. <laughs> Adam is a, is a changed man. I mean, you can't imagine how sweet and how vulnerable he can be. Well, that's what passion does, darling. Turns tigers into pussycats. But actually, between you and me, I prefer it the other way around. No, Mother, I'm not talking about my <laughs> husband's prowess. I'm talking about how he, he seems or afraid that, that I don't love him as much as he loves me. You're joking. No, it, it's almost like he's insecure. And, and we couldn't be closer. I mean, especially after New York. I mean, we were we were together, and we were thinking about the future. And, and then this morning, it's like he woke up like nothing happened. Like like he needed proof of my love. But darling, you're here, and you're in his bed, no less. What what more proof could the man want? Oh, that's it. When we were in New York, he gave me a very, uh, well, precious and very, and very thoughtful gift, and I need to return that. I need to give him a tangible reminder of my love. 
That's it. I've got to do this. We're going shopping. Oh, you have to pick hooray, me up the dog. Wait, how many carrots? Okay, I think I can be uh, ready in about ten minutes. He'll be down in about an hour with Suzanne, right? So we have to hurry. But what are we going shopping for? A perfect present. You know that wedding band that he keeps wearing from the ceremony, the horrible wedding uh -huh. ceremony that shouldn't have been? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get him a beautiful wedding band, the most beautiful one ever designed. And I'm going to have it inscribed from my heart. I know this is hard, but I, I, I'm, I have to do this. Look, Mateo, he told me, not the world. I don't think it's fair for you to make public things he told me in confidence. Fair? Fair? If he had his way, you would keep his secret forever. I'm not trying to keep any secrets from you. Look, I know he's your father and he's your blood, but my sister, she died on that plane, right? And I can't let her down. I've never let her down. I'm not going to start now. Isn't there any other way? No! No. I'll understand if you can't support me on this. You don't have to. I do support you. I support you. You're right. Adam has to pay for the part he played in the crash. Look, I would never want you to come to choose between me and your family, all right? You I, are I don't my want that family. To you are my family. And I'm gonna stand by you. And I'm gonna stand behind you for the rest of our lives. I think I trust. Oh, terrific. It's about time. Where have you been? I thought we were gonna have to start without you. Listen, Dad, I gotta I, go to work. Sorry, okay, yes, you go right ahead. I need to talk for to me. you about something. Rudy, I want everybody on set ready to go in five minutes, okay? Ted, Ted I need to talk no, to no, you. No, 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 not, not right now. Got... Listen, we got a lot to do. I want to get you a makeup. You look like you haven't slept in two days. Thanks. Um, listen, yeah. Adam's responsible for Flight 149. It's his fault. That's what I want to say on your show today. The whole thing falls in his lap. Okay, you definitely got my attention. Liza, sweetheart, I'm sorry that that. Oh. Sweetheart, Liza, could uh, could you come on out, honey? Um, we need to talk. Liza. I'm waiting for the right moment. You had all night. Yeah, I know. I couldn't. Please. Leave us alone. I'll tell her right now. It's too late. Liza's gone. She's gone. Haley, did you tell her? No, no, no. Winifred said she went shopping with her mother. Shopping? Blast! Marion and her shopping sprees. Oh, well, no, no, it's all right. Eliza won't be gone long. She'll be back soon. I'll tell her the whole thing when she arrives. Dad, there's not as much time as you think. No, no, no. We have the rest of our lives, sweetheart. She loves me. She really loves me. And she'll forgive me. I know she will. Uh, Dad. Thank you for not saying anything. It had to be me. You understand that, right? Dad, listen to me. I told Mateo this morning. You told him what? I told him that you confessed about the faulty parts. Haley. And he's he's going to, to talk about it today on the cutting edge. He can't do that. Well, the truth was going to come out sooner or later, Dad. But Liza doesn't know. We... Well, you had plenty of time to tell her. You gotta stop him. You gotta call him. Call him. Tell him. Tell him he can't say anything. I can't do that. Why not? You're gonna let him ruin my life. I support him because he happens to be right. Well, then why are you here? Why aren't you there with him, watching him drive a stake through my heart? Because I wanted you to hear it from me first. Well, I've heard you. Now go. Dad, please try to understand the difficult position I'm in. Stop him. I've gotta stop him. I'm not gonna let him ruin my marriage.
quickly realize this is going to blow Adam out of the water, right? Yep. Does Liza have any idea? I don't know. Well, before we go on national television and start screaming about it, we may want to make sure... No, 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 no. I'm not sitting on this, all right? People died in that crash because somebody wanted to save a buck, and I'm going to tell the world who gave that order, whether it's on your show or on somebody else's okay, show, okay, all right? Okay, okay, Liza's always talking about the public's right to know. I just hope she means it. You have any idea what's happening with the other guests? No, I, I don't. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Cat. Adam is online, too, and he would like to speak to you. Tell him I'm busy, that I've got a show to do. If he wants me, he's going to have to turn on the television. Come on, let's do this. Okay, okay, quiet, everyone, please. And we are on in, in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning and welcome to a special live edition of The Cutting Edge. By now, I'm sure you've all heard of the tragedy of Flight 149. At the very least, the families of the victims deserve a full accounting of everything that led up to the event that devastated their lives. And today, on this show, they're going to get it. With me again is Mr. Mateo Santos, brother of one of the victims, Maria Santos Gray. Mr. Santos has startling new evidence that once and for all reveals was truly responsible for this tragedy. Before we start, um, I'd like to say again how sorry I am for the loss that your family has suffered. I knew your sister Maria personally. She was definitely an inspirational woman. Thank you. I'd also like to say that I, I appreciate all the outpouring of support we've received which is why, on behalf of all the families who were torn apart because of this crash, I have to come forward with this information. Information meaning you have new information as regards the crash of Flight 149? Yes, I do. Okay, well, we'll get to that very no, shortly. No, I don't want another smart alecky remark. I want you to stop the show. Pull the plug on it, now. Thank you. Mr. Sheldon, I'd like to invite Mary to go back to your office. Come on, Mama, keep looking at me. We're live. What are you doing on the phone? We're in daycare for its employees. But when that wreckage... Who was that? Was it Eliza? Or the loss of innocent lives y in a yes, plane crash your husband, turns into please. bureaucracy, spit control, oh, Adam, or clever hi. PR. Listen, I'm sorry I, I came out to just left so Is early this morning. Sweetheart, are you at the studio? P -p -p Darling, please come home. Now. I will. Cutting I costs promise. has led to plant closings and downsizings across the globe. But what is forgotten here is that there are human consequences to these actions. Liza. Liza. People lose their jobs. But when cutting costs lead to inferior products and shoddy turbine blades, people lose their lives. So when corporate Liza. responsibility Liza. fails, Liza. personal Liza. responsibility no. is the solution. Initially, I blamed the CEO and president of Corview, the parent company that owns Transglobal Airlines. But I was wrong. Miles Christopher is not to blame. In fact, the Corview Group was very recently sold sold in order to avoid responsibility by its previous owner. That owner was Adam Chandler. So you see, it was Adam Chandler who owned the airline. Adam Chandler who mandated that costs be cut no matter what. And Adam Chandler who's been lying ever since.
give ourselves to each other, we would just... Bye-bye.